from this angle in the sun, you can really tell just how dirty the car is. Just from sitting under trees, it has sap all over it. It's just burnt, caked in. And of course the rims are disgusting, as well as door jams, the hood jam, and the entire engine. So I'm out here, finally gonna wash this thing up in direct sunlight, just as you want it. <laughs> Let's go. Gonna start on the rims. Got my hose, simple green wheel cleaner, a bucket with some crappy car wash soap in it, and a brush. So this brush is actually garbage, um, so I'm only gonna use it for the barrels. And then I went and grabbed a rag to wipe down the rest of the rim. And with that, she's already starting to look a lot better. With the rims all done, time to move to the engine bay. Same as the rims, everything's gonna get sprayed with the hose real quick, then simple greened, and then washed off. I'm just gonna avoid spraying directly onto the filter, but everything else is getting wet. And while the hood's up, I got everything exposed on the hood that never gets washed, as well as the bit of cowl that is under the hood that also never gets washed. Everything that just happened to the engine bay is going to happen to the trunk as well. So now that everything is done, you can take your rag, that's never touching the car again, dump your bucket out, wash it. If you have a grit guard, throw that in the bucket. Two brand new rags. And like I said before, I would be using my pressure washer right now, but I'm feeling kind of lazy. I am still going to use the same soap that I would have used in my foam cannon. Normally, I would have my pressure washer out for this, but feeling kind of lazy. And the hose will do a good enough job, so that's what she's going to get. I'm going to give the car a quick spray down with the hose, just to get everything wet. I'm sorry, I don't have my booty shorts on, so I know it's, a, I know it's the only reason you guys watch any of these car wash videos. And then finally, it's time to soap the car up. And now that the camera is done overheating, it uh, is gonna sit down here, hide in the shade. The best part of the whole deal, time to spray off the soap. Now before I wax it, I'm going to pull it in the garage so it can be in the shade. Trying to eliminate the water spots as much as I can. Now that the car is out of the sun, it's a little bit cooler hanging out in the garage. I got two more new rags and some spray wax. This isn't actually turtle wax, it is a product from Nano Skin that's a concentrate and I just used this bottle to mix it up in. A link to everything is going to be in the description as usual, except for the rigs, because I just borrowed those from work. Anyway, let's get this car dried off. So I always like to spray a lot of the wax on. Use one rig to wipe it all down wet. Use a second rig to come back and buff it dry. Wax the trunk area. Remember to lube up the hinge and the strut there. And for this, I'm using motorcycle chain lube because it is nice and sticky. But if you wanted to, WD-40 or something would probably work just as well. And lastly, of course, is the engine bay and the hood, as well as lubing up the hood hinge and the strut. Something I completely overlooked when I was washing it was all those seeds. So I'm going to wait until the car is completely dry so that way I don't make a huge mess pulling those out. But don't forget those. With the car all spiffy, it's time to take some pictures.